our purpose is ours to define. It is ours to feel. And then when I say define, I mean determine how we will express that purpose. So you could tell me, well, if you're love, then your purpose is like your, if your purpose is love, then your action should be this, this, and this. Well, that might be how you view the expression of the purpose of love. But I came in with the purpose of love as defined by how my soul desired to express that purpose. And so maybe your, if it's not your primary purpose, maybe you came in with a secondary purpose of love as a support to whatever your primary purpose or goal was. And that's how your soul is telling you to express that. But I don't have to take on the way you desire to express love. I need to experience the way that I came in desiring to express love, to express my purpose. Because then That allows me to inspire those that I was meant to inspire. Otherwise, I'm not fulfilling what I set out to do. So I have to hold true to what sparks within me. Mm. And each one of us should be willing to do that, even in in the capacity to which we feel drawn, right? Absolutely. Without guilt, without shame. Just being willing to hold to that. And that's a key as well, because the narrative will always tell us from the other person's perspective, because that's what's true for them. That is 100% what's true for them in their flow, in their knowing, in that time. But that doesn't mean that we have to buy the story they're selling. People don't have to buy the story we're selling right now. And we're okay with that. That's the goal Mm -hmm. for all of us to know what's true for us, to be inspired by what feels true from others, and then to build upon that for our own life experience. 